Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be giving you seven simple techniques on how to tie a scarf. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And last but not least, I've got a free 47-page ebook that you can grab just by clicking on that link down there. And we're also going to link you to an article which expands on what we're talking about. All right, how to tie a scarf, seven simple techniques. I've already covered why, wear, why a man should wear a scarf. I've talked about the history of scarves, and I've even talked about different types of scarves and given you seven techniques on how to choose a scarf. So now let me give you seven simple ways to tie a scarf. And when I say simple, I do mean simple. Nothing here is going to be complicated. There are an infinite number of ways, well maybe not infinite, but there are a very large number of ways to tie a scarf. I'm not going to get into those complicated ways because one of the things that I believe with a man is that he needs to keep it simple. He needs to, whenever he ties his scarf, not even really think about it. So I can tell you, I I know how to tie a scarf probably like 50 different ways, but I use these simple techniques 99% of the time. And I do live in an area in which it's cold, so I do do this, but <laughs> it's something that I don't see why you need to. You know, there are Neckties, there are just, oh, there's even a book out there about a hundred and some odd ways to tie a necktie, but really when it comes down to it, I use two to three knots on most of my neckties. And the same with, the same with scarves, it doesn't need to be complicated. At the end of the day, focus on function, which is to keep you warm. And the fashion, that's kind of, that's nice, it's an afterthought for me, but it's uh, not something I focus on. Okay, so the first not that, well, not really a knot, it's the simple drape. And this is where you wear the scarf just right over like this. And you see this a lot in cities. You can wear it outside, although it, outside of the overcoat, although I like to wear it underneath the overcoat or trench coat or whatever type of jacket. And then you're using the actual jacket to keep it in place. So how does the drape work? Why even use it? Well, the drape is incredibly simple. It looks good. And even though it doesn't provide much warmth, it does in a sense because what it does is it seals up the areas here on, and, and most men actually don't have jackets. My This overcoat is custom, I made it, and it fits me very well. Most men have a lot of room in here and that's what you're looking to fill with the drape, is fill up this excess room. In addition, the fashion part, it introduces some color. So you see I'm not wearing a necktie, all of a sudden we've got color. So that is the drape. That is the first simple fold. Now let's talk about the reverse drape. And by the way, in case you're wondering about this scarf, uh, my friends over at Om Delicacy, they sent this to me. I'll link to them down below. They've got an entire great section on men's scarves. And this one is made of wool. Very nice. It's got a little bit of a, uh, you know, the, the tassels and stuff, but it's still a pretty manly scarf. All right. So the reverse drape. It's simply where I turn it around here, throw it back. Pretty simple again. This one is worn a little bit more out, so let's say on my overcoat, if I were to button it up all the way, and I wanted to show, you know, I wanted to show off a little bit more of the scarf, then I could do the reverse drape. So here I've got, on my front here, I've got same length, and then I am reversing over. And depending on the look that you're going for, you may want to look in a mirror and, you know, look at what side's showing. To me, I never pay attention to that, but some of you guys may want to. At the end of the day, guys, keep it simple. Again, the reverse drape, this one's nice because it does a good job of closing it up. It uses its own weight. The bad part about this is easily it can come undone. And so if you're going to be moving around quite a bit, not as great. You can also put this one under the overcoat a little bit harder because of what it's going to be laying down your back, but this one works pretty good. All right. The overhand. Another simple one. We're going to have to make a slight change though as it we're going to pull this so that about three quarters of the length over here, one quarter of the length, you can see the tassel right here, and we're going to be coming over and under. So this is the overhand, a very simple front knot. And you don't have to get this exactly perfect. In fact, I probably could have gone one third and two thirds. This is a little bit long. But at the end of the day, you see what I'm doing here. So a very simple front knot. You can tighten this up a bit. 
And here, it's giving almost like a tie, so a little bit of a pronounced knot here. I don't like this one as much. Unless you seal up the jacket, you're not going to fill up a lot of the room here. So that's the overhand. Okay, the once around. So again, we're going to have probably about a quarter, three quarters over here, and I'm going to go once around. So just like I said, I think this one is a lot nicer than the overhand. Very simple, wraps around. Now, you guys, uh, there may be some guys out there worried that you know having something around their neck too much is, <laughs> is not what they want. I, I've never heard of anyone having issues with this. I think this is a very warm knot, even here in Wisconsin. Now, let's say it's really cold. Well, let's talk about the twice around. But knots now, let me go ahead and show you the length of this uh, scarf. This scarf is about 60 inches long. I'm 69 inches high, so yeah, 60 inches long. I'm going to need something longer for my build to do the uh, the double, the twice around. And so now I've got this scarf. Again, uh, my friends over at Ohm Delicacy sent me this one as well. Very nice. It's actually made out of silk. And as you can see, this one's about 72 inches in length. So the length of your scarf and also the thickness is going to affect. So the more complicated knots, the thicker that scarf, the more, uh, the, the bigger that knot's going to be. Although there, you're, if you've got a really long, thin scarf, you can go for more wraps. So that's what we have here. This is a overall very warm fabric for silk, but its length, again 72 inches, allows me to do the twice around. So as you can imagine, I go around once, I go around twice. Not exactly perfect, but you can see that uh, I was close enough, and then I can close this up. And even at 72 inches, that's pretty close. So I would probably uh, definitely fully seal my jacket at this point, but this puts enough fabric and it's going to be tighter around the neck. I don't know if I'd wear this one like this, but for those of you guys, experiment and find which type of scarf knot works for your uh, body type and for the clothing that you're wearing. All right, I wanted to bring in, actually a little bit too early, let me go ahead and I'm gonna stick with, uh, with the 72 inch because I wanna show you guys the fake knot. So this is the sixth knot, a little bit more complicated, although not really. And what we're gonna do is I've got it uh, approximately one third, two thirds, and over here on the two-thirds part, I'm going to tie a little bit of a knot. And so I've got about, uh, probably giving myself a good 18, 18 inches, 12 inches right here. Don't tie it very tight because what we're going to do is bring this right into here. into So it looks like you tied a knot, but really you tied just a simple knot on one end and then you place the other end right through it. So very basically fake knot. And you can tighten this up a bit. A lot like the overhand, I'm not a big fan of this one and the reason being is it's more of a uh, more of a fashion knot than a practical warmth knot. The great thing here, again like the overhand, is that you can loosen this up and you could wear it, wear it looser. I like it whenever it is with a kind of a clunkier, heavier scarf or one that uh, you want, you want to keep that knot pretty loose, and that always looks a, a bit better. But these are, uh, yeah, those knots right there, when you're doing that, and you're, you're getting away from the function, more fashion forward, so you need to know what you're doing. This last one, I'm going to be using a beautiful silk scarf, and this is handmade by my friends over at Brown Deem. And my, my friend Christopher Brown actually made this over in Boston, and he reuses a kimono silk among other things, really one of a kind, yeah, they are one of a kind. In fact, uh, now this scarf right here, I'm going to use the Parisian knot or the French knot. Very simple knot, but one that you need a longer scarf for. So we can see the length of this scarf right here. Again, we've got probably 72 inches. So I'm going to fold it exactly in half, and I've got this loop right over here. So bring it around, and there we go. Very simple knot, one that actually is pretty warm. So even with this silk scarf, 
I think this looks pretty good. Not necessarily with this overcoat, but uh, overall the knot and the, and the color that we allow out works really well. If I was, I could do this with uh, that other. Again, want to have around the 72 inch scarf. When you do something like this, the Parisa knot is for longer lengths. And the great thing about this, incredibly warm. You've got the double, the double scarves, or basically it's like two loops going around, and it forms this nice knot. Very simple. So even here, right now we've got it snowing outside. I could wear this and not even button this up, and it'll look good. All right, those were seven simple techniques on how to wear a scarf. And I'm going to be going on and doing another video about more complicated ways. And I may even break this video out into each of the knots. But uh, hopefully you find one that, that, you, that, you, that works for you. At the end of the day, guys, remember, keep it simple. You don't want to be thinking about this. Simply do the wraparounds. Occasionally pick in, you know, bring in one or two knots that you really like. And uh, this is really all you need. Again, 99.9% .9 of the knots I tie are within these seven. Okay, this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.